Welcome to the ruggedly beautiful province of Balochistan. It is located in the southwest of Pakistan, bordering with Iran and Afghanistan. We travel to Ziarat Valley, which is less than three hours drive from Koyta. The town center of Ziarat Valley lies 8,850 meters above mean sea level. The word Ziarat means journey to a sacred place. The valley's name is derived from the neighboring shrine of the famous Muslim saint Mullah Tahir, commonly known as Baba Kharwari. Ziarat hosts an important cultural and historical landmark called the Ziarat Residency, built in the late 19th century. It served as a residency to the founder of Pakistan, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, during the last days of his life. The valley is inhabited by various tribes living a simple lifestyle. However, harsh winter conditions force them to migrate to the lower valleys. او راست وای اوس لیخ لوا جی زموږ به علاقه د اجرت کو د سنوبر درختي شایسته د د خپل د د ملک حفاظت مو ساته لکه شایسته درختي هغه زموږ کاټو د غوې چې کټ نه گیسته نه شایسته لیخ لوا جی کاټو د جونیپر فورست اف زیارت از ون اف دی گریټسټ ایکولوژیکل ٹریجرز اف پاکستان اینڈ اف دی ورلد These junipers form the second largest natural concentration of Juniperus excelsa polycarpus in the world. It is spread over an area of 50,000 hectares, with an average lifespan of over three centuries. Many junipers in the Ziarat Valley are over 1,500 years old. The forest is a treasure cove of benefits which include prevention of soil erosion due to the melting of permafrost snow in spring. The various parts of the juniper trees are used as active ingredients in many local herbal remedies. Moreover, the juniper ecosystem sustains numerous sherbs and herbs with unique medicinal properties such as ephedra seneca which is an important constituent of various medicines, especially cough syrups. The juniper forest in the valley has been the lifeblood of the people of Ziarat for generations. The trees provide firewood and sturdy building material for homes. In the rainy season, the wood is used to make flood protection embankments. During summer, people use the wood to construct dams and to collect rainwater. The delicate balance between the local people's needs and the forest's ability to replenish its bounty is starting to shake. An increase in population and livestock grazing has started to stretch the limits of this natural resource. Lack of awareness about the ecological, historical and cultural importance of juniper trees among the local residents had resulted in the cutting down of thousands of years old trees. Also. The droughts resulting from climate change have not been kind to the junipers of Ziarat. As a cruel joke of nature, the trees have been afflicted by a dangerous disease which is caused by a parasitic plant known as mistletoe. Once a tree gets afflicted with tasmapa, the infected portion must be cut off and burned as it is highly contagious and incurable. As the sun sets on the valley, it is sad to see the once lush green forest now dotted with barren patches. Here, a question arises. What can be done to save these living fossils? 
if a forest that has been around for thousands of years dies. An irreplaceable ecological treasure, unique to the region and the incredible biodiversity it supports, will be lost forever. The IUC in Pakistan has been instrumental in the formation of the National Conservation Strategy, which was passed by the Parliament in 1992. In the light of the plight of junipers of Ziarat, IUC in Pakistan, in collaboration with the Global Environment Facility, United Nations Development Program, and the Forest and Wildlife Department, Government of Balochistan, launched a program in 2007. The project currently operates in five valleys. Main Ziarat Valley, Chauter Valley, Koshkis Zizri Valley, Batethir Nishpa Valley and Mana Valley. The foremost challenge was to change the perception and attitude of the locals. Multiple visits along with local council meetings to educate and motivate the communities on how to conserve the forest which will prove beneficial for them in the long run. Another step that was taken was the teaching of effective methods to increase ecosystem production through reforestation and adaptation of effective sustainable usage of resources. The IUCN helped plant fast-growing trees and shrubs for domestic use, mainly to provide firewood, which was used for heating and cooking purposes, and has introduced efficient heaters and stoves, which require less wood to function for longer period of time. <laughs> درخت شاخون خسایه داد در مزرو داد سوگان دا هر شایکس بازی دا این تون شاید بدی که هر شاید داغ کج خرسای بدغ داد واجد کمد. IUC has also developed and implemented solar powered tube wells and other irrigation systems in the valley. Stone rainwater reservoirs have also been constructed to provide additional water resources during winter and preventing soil erosion due to seepage within reservoirs. Ziarat previously had an extensive Kares canal system which had fallen into disrepair. IUCN successfully rehabilitated these canals to allow for better irrigation, which has led to increased agricultural production in various farms and gardens across Ziarat. अभी वो चैनल को पका किए हैं तो लोगों का पानी जो है वो पूरा इनको इन्हीं ज़मीन तक पहुंचता है। पीने का पानी दूर से लाते थे अभी हर घर के साथ मतलब जिधर ज़रूरत है उधर तालाब बनाए हैं लोगों को पानी नज़दीक अपनी घरों से मिलता है। अगर ये प्रोजेक्ट आइंदा भी चले तो लोगों को फायदा हो तो इनकी वजह से अभी उन्हें जो है घर बैठे सहूलत मिल गई है कि वो आराम से जो है नलके से पानी भर लेती हैं। Overall, the IUCN has developed and implemented over 75 projects in the valley during these four years. The nomadic culture of the population of Ziarat means many of the men traditionally are shepherds. IUCN's untiring effort has resulted in the vaccination of thousands of livestock during the past four years. The vaccination program also included the training of community livestock extension workers to make the community self-sustaining in proper livestock care. 
Along with that, the farmers were provided with hundreds of chickens as means for additional food and income source by the sale of poultry products. There is no denying the beauty of Ziarat Valley and its juniper forests. Realizing this, IUCN has attempted to promote ecotourism in the region with the construction of a tourist information center signifying the importance of the juniper ecosystem. The influx of ecotourism will bring new work opportunities for the locals who can work as guides and caretakers of the local resorts. To highlight the significance of the junipers of Syarat at global level, the IUCN is striving to get these ancient forests assigned the status of a UN World Heritage Site or Biosphere Reserve. IUCN's efforts over the years have yielded promising results, but to ensure the continued success of conservation efforts, serious attention must be paid to provide legal cover to these forests. Alternate sources of renewable energy must be provided to the locals to lift the pressure of these forests. ने ज़रात को बहुत ज़्यादा मुतासिर किया और इसी एम को लेकर आयुष्यन आगे चली और उन्होंने स्टॉक वाटर पॉइंट्स वगैरह बनाए जिससे ग्राउंड वाटर रिचार्ज उसमें पानी के वाटर टेबल रेज हुआ और इससे जो लोगों में मतलब खुशाली आई और ज़रात की तरफ बेहतरी आई और आयुष्यन ने जितना काम किया है इसमें मैं ये कहता चलूँ कि इतने छोटे प्रोजेक्ट पर और इतने स्माल स्केल को लेकर इतनी बड़ी अचीवमेंट मेरे किसी दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट में मुमकिन नहीं थी This represents a need for all stakeholders, including the government, civil society organizations, and most importantly, the local communities to work together to keep the forests thriving so that the world can experience its beauty in the centuries to come.